Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the second part of question number second. In this case also, you have to find the sum of this AP, where the first term is given to you as 34. Now, in this case, to form the second term, what we have done is you have subtracted 2. So here the common difference will be minus 2, and here the last term is given to you as 10. Now if you want to find the sum of n terms, if we have a formula which says n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the first formula. There is another formula for finding the sum of n terms where the last term is given to you is equals to n by 2 a plus l. Here this is the number of terms which are present in any AP, A is the first term and L is the last term. So you can use any of these two formulas to find the sum of this AP. But here, first of all, you have to find the number of terms in this AP. And last term is given to you as 10. And the last term, for uh, finding the last term, we have a formula. And the last term is given to you as 10. And the first term is 34. The number of terms you have to find out. And the common difference is here, minus 2. So solving this, 10 equals to 34. This will be minus 2n. And minus minus will be plus. So 2 multiplied by 1 will be 2. Now this variable can be shifted to this side. And this constant can be shifted to that side. This when shifted to this side will become positive. This when shifted to that side will become negative. Now, this, these are positives. So 34 plus 2 is 36. And 36 minus 10 will be 26. So here, the number of terms will be 13. So there are 13 terms in this AP. So we can find the sum using any of the formula. This if you use this formula, your calculation will be easy. So here the number of terms are 13 by 2 and the first term is 34 and the last term is 10. So this will be, become 13 multiplied by 44 upon 2. This will be 22 times and this will be th uh, 13 multiplied by 22 will be the answer for this question. This will be 13 multiplied by 2 is 26, carry 2. 13 multiplied by 2 is 26 and this will become 286. So the sum of this AP will be 286. You can find the same answer using this formula. What you have to do is you have to substitute the value of A, N, N, D and you have to solve this and you will get your answer. So this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can contact us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.